Sam Sevian, he has a big game today against uh, Ray Robson. That Jennifer. one is going to be crucial. There's Irina Carson. Got her hat, got her yes. cookies. <laughs> I want to know what's in those cookies. She needs some snacks. <laughs> yes. It's a gorgeous day outside. The yes, temperature is a little bit low, but my goodness, for a fall day, it's so much sunshine here in San Francisco. Oh, it's really oh, great beautiful. weather. Yes, I like it so much. October All is color right. moment. Funny, I'm looking at these two minor pieces. I look at this bishop on D4 and I say, what am I really yes. so this is really, really All right. Great. But then I look at this knight on D4 and I say, wow, awesome. what a magnificent knight. Uh, so two offsetting pieces. And OK, I saw earlier it was a game with H6, G5. Mm -hmm. The bishop got chased to G3. The knight went to H5 and took on G3. Um, what's your first take? Do you like black's position? Do you like white's position? I just, I, I really like this bishop actually, because I used so to you're play attracted like to Volga before and the... Did you? <laughs> oh, very nice. When this bishop nice. goes to D, D4, I mean, I'm normally very happy at this right. long diagonal seems to be mine. Yeah. Nobody is really trying to make any problems for me there. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, it's one of those things you know, you've got your trumps, I've got my trumps. So yes. in a position where we both have mutual trumps, one of the things that I like to do is I, I, I like to... There's this moment where your your opponent picks up their piece, they picks up their pen, and they're pre prepared to write down your move. And then the move that you played is such a shock that you don't respond. You don't just write down the move. You, you, you take that pause, and that's the tell. That's when you know your opponent has missed the move you played, e5. 